Welcome to the shithole. Give me, give me your best, uh, like, subscribe and thumbs up. Listen, you bitches! <laughs> Last chance, guys. Kaizen holiday sale, one year anniversary sale, 50% off all our programs. Use code BLACKFRIDAY17 at checkout. That's 50% off. If you guys want to gain muscle, gain strength, drop fat, we have a program for you. Check it out, description below. Tell a friend and enjoy the video. None. Behind the scenes of Instagram star. Hi, Instagram star here, Omar Eslav, Omar Surf Clam, typing up a caption, I like boobs. We're not in Sacramento, my hometown. We're not in Toronto, his hometown. <laughs> we are in the middle of Los Angeles. In the middle of a shithole, bro. And no, <laughs> neither, of us, no, neither of us really love Los Angeles. I've mentioned this before. Uh, I do have some, uh, obviously some of my best friends, Barquan. Here, uh, I have some other friends and acquaintances here. Uh, Barbara Brigade is here, and I do love that gym and environment. But Los Angeles is not my cup of tea. So we're here in this isolated little, uh, it's not a loft, but it's a one bedroom deal. It's a little piece of heaven, right? <laughs> we feel safe in here, um, but out here. No, we're gonna murder someone, bro. That's that's the LA thing. If you wanna become LA, you gotta murder someone. So I, you gotta I, pick I, someone. I watched a lot of Tupac and Suge Knight uh, documentaries. I could probably get away with murder. Bro, someone, <laughs> we need to find someone old that can't defend themselves. We're not, we're not classy. Uh, yeah, or young. <laughs> we're in Los Angeles, Mr. Boris Shaco. You guys have probably, everyone's heard of the Shaco programs that are uh, popularized, probably even through Reddit and the internet. Um, but Boris Shaco is a gentleman himself. Uh, uh, he's been in the strength game forever. Uh, I just, I knew that he was a weightlifting and powerlifting coach and uh, one of the most established, smartest, uh, most accomplished coaches on the planet Earth, history of barbell strength sports. Uh, but what I did not know is that he actually has like a degree in barbells, basically. Uh, it's in heavy training, I believe is the, the actual term um, in Russia, but uh, we don't have that here. To even get a doctorate in or PhD in um, like exercise phys, um, you have to go to like New Zealand or Australia to even get that. Some places in Europe, I believe uh, London or, or whatever, but uh, he, and that's just exercise phys or just physiology basically. He has one in basically heavy training, which is absolutely freaking insane. Uh, he's worked with some of the greatest athletes of all time. He's worked with Abu Jayev, uh, basically Mr. Squat every day for those that don't, um, that just follow buzzwords and don't <laughs> learn their history. Uh, the guy who, who lifted, uh, uh, created basically really high frequency Bulgarian style training. Uh, he's worked with him in the past, uh, back in the whatever, 80s, 70s. Um, but we're here. Filming some Kaizen shit. It's about 9.20. We've been up for about half an hour. We're gonna shower, get ready. And then it's uh, off to the Barber Brigade offices. Follow along. I am Silent Mike if you didn't know. That's Omar Esau if you didn't know. Subscribe, thumbs up. And welcome to, to LA. Seconds, and welcome to LA. Welcome to hell, bro. <laughs> welcome to the shit hole. Give me, give me your best uh, like subscribe and thumbs up. Listen, you bitches! Just be 1325. And your memory card's done. You're the worst done? vlogger in the world, dude. The healthy one? Mm hmm. It looks like an egg white. Mmm. There's an egg white in there for you. I know. Honey, I know. Looks honey, I know you're cutting. I got it. Look. Dude, are you honey? taking this? Why are you taking this bulk so serious? Because Professor Shaco What's said I'm gonna delve 370 kilo. Like after, at some point, you just get my camera from over there. Uh, for Am I okay here? Are you vlogging in my vlog uh, about your vlog? Good, but yes, I'm yeah. <laughs> asking you to help with my vlog in your vlog. That's going up on your vlog. Yeah. You don't even have an SD card in your shit, rookie. What's the name? The super compensation. Yeah, he is. He comes with his muscles and he's ready to work very much. Crushed an insane amount of Shaco knowledge, part story, part info. We just took three hours of Russian history, <laughs> the powerlifting Russian, Russian Bible. History. Yeah, the, the powerlifting Russian Bible. Now we're in little Tokyo, about to grab a conveyor belt, sushi. Uh, no, those of you who have not seen this vlog in the past, I've been to this place before, it's my favorite spot. One, because of the uh, silliness of it, but two, the food's actually pretty decent, so. We're going shopping because Omar's a nerd, and then we're gonna go eat sushi. Star Wars. Sushi, healthy, 
We're some bodybuilders, so we're all gonna get some jacked at this meal. A bodybuilder. I thought you were a professional toner. I'm a toner. Well, isn't that like? Just isn't compare, that, compare arm size right here. Yeah, like, I figure that's like toner. I figure it's bodybuilder. Yeah, yeah, toner. Like bikini, bodybuilder. Bikini and figure, yeah. right? It's kind of like the male equivalent. Women's, uh, yeah. Women's toning. Yeah. Um. And Evan's gonna serve me because he loves me. What do you want? Uh, just like fish, he like this, coffee. this thing. It feels so good to be learning again. Like, I'm always constantly learning, but uh, I feel like over the last maybe year, just because I've been so busy with kind of uh, transition into being a business owner and doing my own thing. Um, obviously, business with Kaizen and just Silent Mike as a brand and YouTube and things. My focus has been learning uh, more kind of this business. Uh, stuff. I've been doing some consulting for some companies with projects that uh, I'll tell you guys when I can. And, and even working for Reebok, you know, in, in a way I am sponsored, but in a way it's kind of a consulting gig because you're, you're working on different marketing uh, strategies and marketing plans and campaigns to help them and help me uh, grow and, and reach more people to teach more people and help. Um, but you guys know that like in the, in the depths, I'm a coach. I like to lift. I'm an athlete but I feel old, so I feel more of a coach than I am. And to feel the rush and uh, get my brain moving again as a coach, um, to refresh and to learn and to grow as a coach, there's nothing better. So we just went over squat and made some sick content. Again, this is gonna be uh, part of the program that'll be out and I'll let you guys know when, uh, but it'll be down the road um, with Mr. Boris Shako. So we went over the squat, now Bart's gonna be going over the bench, and I'll be going over the deadlift. I'll get you guys some B-roll just to get you a, uh, an idea, a little teaser of what's going on. So it's 11, almost midnight, uh, energy's still pretty good. We're moving pretty well. We got a bunch of, uh, basically shooting the competition lifts, uh, technique and things from um, Boris's uh, point of view, uh, bench squat dead, and then a bunch of variations that are like I don't want to say like Russian top secret, but uh, some things I've honestly never seen. Uh, and, and I've just been doing this a long ass time. Uh, some things uh, I've never seen. So it's exciting. Exciting to hear what he has to say. Exciting to learn what a time to be alive, I guess. I'm going to go learn about benching. <laughs> So now we're going to show you the technique basics of the barbell bench press. Вот вот так хорошо. Чем больше у спортсмена выходит плечи вперёд, тогда вот тогда чтобы спина была ровная и грудь была впереди, а не спрятана плечами. So the athlete needs to make sure to have a straight back. Yeah. That was a long session, but we just absolutely destroyed fucking content. Some dope insiders, some cool new exercises going into the Shaco Kaizen program. I'm going to sleep. Tomorrow's kind of an off day. Probably train. Who are you talking And I'll see you guys on Thursday. Who are you talking to? Tell him goodnight. Honey, it's time to go home. Tell him goodnight. I need to buy a Snuggie. Uh, there's no blankets. There's only one. I know, we're going to Snuggie. I'm gonna get, uh, our Airbnb only came with one blanket, uh, which is fucking great. So I'm gonna go Something find a snuggie at three o'clock in the morning on a Wednesday. Goodbye. Okay.